a couple interesting developments over the last few weeks for Rudy Giuliani. Here's how his home city daily news in New York uh, played the story. Lies and cons on Rudy's watch. Bernard Carrick lied, schemed, and sold out the city all under the nose of his mentor and pal, presidential candidate Rudy Giuliani. That is the stark portrait painted in the 16-count indictment unsealed in White Plains Federal Court almost exactly one year before Election Day 2008. And, and then uh, the mayor responded this way, Bernie Carrick worked for me while I was mayor of New York City. There were mistakes made with Bernie Carrick, but what's the ultimate result for the people of New York City? The ultimate result was a 74% reduction in shootings and a 60% reduction in crime. Sure, there were issues, but if I have the same degree of success and failure as President of the United States, this country will be in great shape. Does that settle it, Byron? Uh, it, it does not settle it. Although, I mean, he actually has a point. I mean, he, he says, look, I appointed thousands and thousands of people. And his campaign aides said to me, you know, if you've got someone you've appointed and he's doing a bad job, he's not showing up, he's doing, then you worry about him. They felt that Bernie Carrick did a great job. But uh, it's, it's not going to go away. Do they really think that's going to work? <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it, it's... It's one guy. I, yeah, I think right. obviously it's where he went too far guy. was was pushing him for guy. Homeland yeah. Security. Yeah. One right. of the closest aides he had. I mean, one of the funny things the Daily News reported is they named the prison after Bernie Carrick. Of course, now he's recently been indicted. They've taken his name off the prison. I think to, that you yeah, have right. to. I agree <laughs> that uh, people yeah. appoint a lot of people. When it's the guy who is this close to you, you have to ask a lot of questions, which is why Time Magazine this week has an enormous story on this. I think this is the first time something out of Mayor Giuliani's record has really gotten traction in the national discussion. And in fact, I think it is a reminder that if he is the nominee, we, time will begin again the, the morning after. We will begin to explore the New York record and debate it and discuss it in a way that we haven't so far.